What's up? I want to share with you the seven steps that most shifted my business for the better over the last while. Um, number one, early on in my career is when I decided to get obsessed at becoming great at my communication skills. And at the time, it was sales skills. It was the ability to set appointments, give a presentation, get a contract signed. What I didn't realize at that time is it would develop into leadership skills and to be able to help manage not only my emotions, but the emotions of my clients. The second thing that really shifted was my ability to get obsessed every single day with getting new customers. Even to this day, like the entire conversation revolves around how do we get a new appointment? How do we get a new presentation? How do we get that new customer into our, our book of business, into our, our pipeline, into our, our clients, right? The third thing for me is when I actually committed to creating a morning routine. I had to commit to making a morning routine. Um, and I, early on in those days, I thought that was the only thing that, that mattered was a morning routine, but now I understand it's not just morning, but it's a day and an evening routine with powerful rituals or practices because practices become permanent. I had to practice meditating and breath work and, and doing these things. And with time though, back then it was more about reading books. Today it's really evolved more than just reading books. But um, fourth thing was I committed to daily smart day. When I look at one of those rituals in my morning routine, it was a smart day and what I now call smart days plus RPMs. RPM stands for rapid planning method or results, purpose, and massive action. Tony Robbins teaches that. So a smart day is basically a CEO meeting with myself where I get clear on my outcomes for the day, why that's important to me, and what are the actions I'm gonna do because I have to flood myself with certainty. The fifth one is consistently tracking my input and my output numbers, meaning how many hours a week was I prospecting, how many con conversations am I having, how many appointments am I setting, how many presentations am I going on, how many contracts I'm getting signed. And so we're constantly looking at what those lead measures are and I'm tracking those. When I first started tracking them, it got better and better every year and how I tracked them. And, and, and what I realized was what was important wasn't trying to hit certain numbers, but was really just tracking the numbers so I could pay attention to the, to the details and the patterns and, and how I can make certain shifts in my business. The, the uh, sixth one was a hired a coach and joined a mastermind is to get someone that was willing to ask me questions that challenged me because I'm really great at lying to myself or manipulating myself. And so once I was able to get a coach that was able to ask me questions, I can then guide myself through those questions to move forward. Uh, and that's one of those things from the skill set I talked about was the communication skill. It developed in becoming a great coach. See, a great salesperson is a great leader, is a great coach, is a great listener. And then the seventh one is uh, I started attending live events, flying to other states with other real estate agents and then evolved from just real estate to business and taxes and other things in which developed me as an entire business person. And so I would say that if you can discover some of these activities and apply them in your life immediately, get doing that and, and you won't see results instantly because those positive echoes take six months to two years to start seeing those results, but you gotta validate yourself and do the work. So get started on that immediately.